Our last geometric example of a transformation is translation by vector a. Here is the definition. Given any vector u, the result of this transformation is to add the vector a to the vector u. And then this is tu. Let's apply it to one more vector. How about to this one? We'll call this one ve the vector v and translate it by the vector a. And the result is this vector right here. So this is t of v. So once again, our first question is, is this transformation linear? And if it is, we'll be interested in knowing its eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So is this transformation linear? So no, it's not. And there are a couple ways to see that. Let's think back to the breakfast example and doing the transformation first and then adding the results or adding the vectors first and then transforming the result. And what will happen if you add the, the two vectors first and transform the result? The result will be u plus v plus a. Let me write it down u plus v plus a. Here I think writing it in letters is better than drawing it on the board. And this is t of u plus v. That's adding them first and then transforming the result. What if we did it in the opposite order? What if we transformed each vector first and then added up their images? Well then you would have u plus a plus v plus a, which of course is u plus v plus 2a. And the result is not the same. This transformation fails the summation test. I'll let you test on your own that it also fails multiplication by a scalar. So this transformation is not linear. And you will notice one dead giveaway of a transformation not being linear. For any linear transformation, the image of the zero vector is the zero vector. T of zero must equal, T of zero must equal the zero vector. And in this case, it's not. And just noticing this alone tells us that this transformation is not linear. Now I invite you to think of this as a mathematical theorem and prove it to yourselves that for any linear transformation, the image of the zero vector is the zero vector. This one fails it and it's not linear. And when a transformation is not linear, it makes all of the other questions irrelevant. The question of eigenvalues and eigenvectors no longer applies, maybe not irrelevant, inapplicable. The question of eigenvalues and eigenvectors does not apply and we won't look for the algebraic equation that has the same roots as the eigenvalues of this transformation. This transformation it wouldn't be accurate to say it doesn't have any eigenvectors or eigenvalues, but the very question of eigenvalues and eigenvectors is not asked of transformations that are not linear. This was our first example like this. In every type of space, I'll come up with a transformation that's not linear. And then from that point on, we'll only discuss linear transformations because we're really interested in eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and other properties of linear transformation.